Come with me and you'll be in a world of pure imagination. I used to be Jerry Silberman. When I was eight years old, my mother had her first heart attack. Her heart specialist whispered in my ear, try to make her laugh. My blanket, my blue blanket, give me my blue blanket. The only thing that concerns me is the preservation of life. And I did make my mother laugh. He was a combination of innocence and danger. Champagne? You didn't know what Gene Wilder was going to do. He was an actor who had an ability to be funny. Hello. He's naive, he's innocent. Oops. He's sweet, simple, and honest. But when he got excited, he was a volcano. He had a unique ability to find humor. I never thought it could be like this. In anything. <laughs> I love Gene's choice of acting roles. It's totally eclectic. Oi, come on. Gene and Mel, they go beyond. Don't put the candle back. And we couldn't not laugh. May I go in? <laughs> we are the music makers. And we are the dreamers of dreams. Charlie Buck. You could tell that this was going to be somebody who's going to be fun to work with. He wasn't treating me like a kid. Gene was able to do things in comedy that are dangerous to do. Darling, would you get down? Richard Pryor was my teacher. What are you doing? I'm good bad. My dad knew undeniably there was a magic between them. It's all right. Just... They fueled each other, and their improvs made them both better. You've had tragedy in your life. You seem like you're in a really good place now. You're happy. He was just a different kind of person than I'd ever met. To have found someone at this stage of my life, I was in love. But I knew then that something was very wrong. Alzheimer's disease, dementia. When I'd see him slip away further from me, that was the hardest part. He embodied these characters and we felt their humanity. You'll never find another Gene Wilder. He was amazing. I didn't think Jerry Silberman had the right ring to it. I wanted to be Wilder. <laughs>